Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Today, I'm looking at a new cigar from the Ventura Cigar Company in cooperation with Drew Estate. This is the Archetype Initiation Toro. This is just a cool band. I cannot smoke that band, but it sure is cool to look at. In the words uh, archetype here at the bottom. Now, this is a uh, brand new cigar to me, but I'm going to tell you a little briefly uh, about it. But you can get the full story on the blog. Um, this is part of the Chapter 2 line, uh, the Architect Chapter 2 line. There's a chapter one, which is um, Davidoff made products. Chapter two is Drew Estate. And um, these were originally released in July of 2016. This is the same blend that was then. It's only a wider distribution. Now this uh, initiation series, and I am doing the Toro, is an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper over Nicaraguan tobaccos. So to be quite honest with you, that got my attention. Um, it is offered in four sizes, and you can see them on the blog. The counterpart to this is the Archetype Axis Mundi, and it uses a uh, Maduro Habano wrapper over Nicaraguan tobaccos. Uh, so this is the, it's a little confusing. The architect archetype initiation Toro, and it's part of the chapter two line. It gets a little confusing. Why don't we do this? Why don't we just worry about what the cigar is like? Um, there is your density. Uh, does not have an overly heavy feel in the hand. So we'll see how that pans out. It is not an overly uh, oily wrapper. Um, still love the band though. Love it. Well made, not much of for ridges, but uh, why don't we get right to it? The uh, new, at least new to me, archetype initiation, Toro. We've got a little uh, band here at the foot. Let's see, let's find where it begins. Usually these are not glued on super well. There we go. Because they know you have to remove it. You just slide it off or take it off, or un unroll it. So there we go. We'll see that again. When? Later. All right. That is a good draw. I really hope that because it doesn't have a heavy feel that it's not gonna smoke quickly. The draw is just about perfect. Your initial flavors are sort of a tangy cedar with sort of strawberry flavors attached to it. How about that? Three things. Tangy, cedar, strawberry. White chocolate, because it's very sweet, but it's not a brown sugar sweet at this point. It's a white chocolate sugary sweet. It's a very light black coffee base, and I would almost call it a white pepper at roughly seven-ish, seven and a half. Now, as I go into these flavor descriptions, I'm starting to get the white chocolate is already changing over to a caramel. Very early on, I'm um, probably a half inch in at this point. But um, 
use that as your initial flavor assessment. The white chocolate was there at the beginning. It is it is already changing over to a caramel though, but it's not a bad thing. Because he's even caramel on the finish. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into the finish right now. Let's wait till let's wait till the first third. That's how you start. Just about two inches in. And the flavors from the outset have been slowly changing and morphing over into other things. Now it's a very tangy citrus, sweet orange citrus with strawberry notes, caramel, and brown sugar. Remember when I said there was no brown sugar in it at the beginning? Pepper is more of a black pepper now, but it's almost a mix of white and black. It's not a bold in your face black. It's not a wimp, weaky uh, white, sort of in the middle. And then the coffee is a little more pronounced at the base, but it's just a depth thing. You don't really taste out and out full blown black coffee, but it's there and it's giving it a base. Flavors, uh, cigar is very sweet. Very nice. Oh, I thought about the bands. The top band is a Game of Thrones type thing going on. And that bottom band at the foot is almost like a Westworld. Have you, did you watch the new Westworld on a year ago? Looks like a little Westworld-ish uh, feel there. That was a uh, sidebar. The finish is that caramel I spoke about something else you know i think it's cedar it's a caramel cedar combination odd sounding but that's what it is and some nice lingering whatever pepper it is we'll call it black but it's a it's a it's a it's a very it's on the milder side of black pepper if that's the thing i'm telling you it's like a mix of white and black medium body not very strong this uh, cigar does not scream anything uh, to do with Drew Estate. The typical Drew Estate, the Liga Provadas, that kind of stuff. It's nothing like that. But it is nice. As a matter of fact, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I'm rating this first third a 92. You almost have to. The flavors are great. They start here, they go there, they come back over here, they mix a little bit of... It's all over the place. It's a very... It's a very complex cigar. So we'll see how the second third fares. Well, I'm right at the lower part of the main band and I'm calling that the two thirds point. The cigar keeps changing somewhat. Pretty much the flavors I described before are still there. But there is another sweetness that has entered the picture, and I do believe it is chocolate. I didn't see that coming. The chocolate is in with the sweet citrus and strawberry and caramel. And the chocolate really might be replacing or be a product of the brown sugar changing. Let me remove this band before I burn it. Should come off easily. You do know that as the band heats up, it makes it easier to remove so you don't damage the cigar, correct? I still get the brown sugar there too, so it's uh, the chocolate notes are rather light. It is a straight chocolate, not a dark chocolate, and it is sweet, and I can detect it. It's not a great deal of it, but it is there. 
uh, the coffee is also somewhat elevated. So everything is mixing well. It's kind of on the same plane now, or the same amount. Very, very nice. This second third has been just as good, and I like the addition of those light, albeit light chocolate notes. It gives it a little more thickness, can you say? But it's a nice addition. I'm not changing the score. It's still a 92. It's a very good cigar, and I'm going to stand by my complex comment. It is a complex cigar. It just, it, it's just changing. I like that. Well, we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. Well, you can throw out my initial prediction of it being a, or worrying about it being a short cigar because it didn't feel dense. Hour and a half. Not bad. Now, your flavors here at the end did change a little bit. The tangy orange, citrus, and strawberry combination is still there. And it's a very nice tanginess to it. Pretty much the brown sugar and caramel was overtaken or replaced by the chocolate notes. So the chocolate became elevated is what I'm saying. And the coffee remained steady, almost background base. The pepper remained good. It did seem to get a little more toward the black than the mix. So it, over the course of the cigar, it started white, mixed white and black to pretty much black at the end. The finish still has that caramel. I don't really have much cedar there anymore. Light cedar. That's a nice lingering pepper, whatever it is. Medium body, never got above medium body. That sort of surprised me. But the flavors are just really good. Very sweet for you people that like sweet cigars. And it did change a lot. So uh, for that reason, I'm calling it a complex cigar. You know, you're your own judge. You see what you think. But it maintained the score of 92. So it's 92s across the board. Even I can figure this out. The overall score is a 92. And it's a good cigar. Now, Ventura Cigars is who puts this out. So wherever they are found, look for this cigar. I do not have the Maduro version. I, to be honest with you, I couldn't find it. So I may... Find it later and review it later, but be that as it may, let's talk about this one. The Archetype Initiation Toro 92. Good cigar. 